All right, guys, today I'm going to change the oil on the Ford F-350 diesel, and we're going to start right now. I'm Aaron. Welcome to the channel. If you are interested in learning how to do things yourself, you can start right now by subscribing to the channel. Click that little bell notification so you don't miss anything. This is another episode while I am injured. I ruptured my Achilles playing volleyball. So my buddy Eric is over here and he has the 350. There it goes. Eric is going to be my hands. Well, mostly my leg while we film this. I just bought this truck. It's got 133,000 miles on it and questionable maintenance, no record. So I'm gonna assume that nothing has been done. So we're gonna start doing a lot of maintenance on this truck. So first things first, we're gonna do an oil change. We're gonna use the Motorcraft 10W30 oil that everybody seems to recommend. They do have a special oil for diesel engines. So check this one out. There's a link to it in the description of this video. You can get them on Amazon or uh, Walmart, AutoZone, anywhere. Now I happen to have a two post lift over there in the garage. So that's what we are cleaning out right now and we're gonna use, but it is super easy for an, any F-250 or 350 to do it right on the ground without even jacks because you can fit under the car. So unlike this car, there's no issues with clearance. All right, so step one, he has just warmed it up a little bit, took it out for a little ride. You want the engine to be warm so that the oil is warm so that it will flow out. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of oil coming out of this thing. It's gonna hold 13 quarts, so a lot of draining. See, look at all that room. You can just slide right under and get to the engine. <laughs> this is the giveaway car. Rio Toro and I are giving away this convertible BMW. So make sure you check out the link to that in the description. Sign up and win it. No purchase necessary. This is the first time putting a truck in here. This will be interesting. The mirror's in. All right, so no idea how far forward we need to be with uh, this lift, so we'll learn that too. Yeah, with our addition back there, uh, it doesn't rock at all now. It's pretty stable, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and commence with the oil change. So if you guys need to know how to get it up on a lift, I just made a video for that, but uh, yeah, this is it. So now we can get to the actual oil change part, which is, really easy even without a lift. So uh, we are not going to be doing that one. Uh, we're gonna do this one over here because we want the engine oil out. And I believe that is a 16 millimeter and the oil filter is right next to it. And of course we're gonna use our genuine Motorcraft filter and oil. So before we lifted this thing, we opened the hood and we removed the oil fill cap just so that it will drain out more readily. So we're gonna cheat with this nice oil catch can and raise it right up to it. Uh, so we don't have to guess quite as much, but it will shoot out a lot. Yeah, whatever you're using to catch it, just position it in a place where it's uh, easy to move <laughs> in case your target moves on you. <laughs> she wants to blow. easy. Yeah, so you're gonna want something that can hold uh, at least 13 quarts. So. Now I'll probably just have to leave this here for a good 15 minutes or so and uh, just let it drain all the way out. All right, this is what the old drain plug looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and reuse this one, but I'm gonna get a new one for the next time because there is a little built-in uh, seal there. So uh, we're down to a really slow drip, so it's gonna be Good enough. Spec for these is probably like 22 newton meters, like most drain plugs. But uh, like most drain plugs, we go the one snug. Snug. It's nice and dirty. I do not have the correct size tool this time, but I'm gonna be buying one on Amazon. And I'll put a link to it in the description in case you guys want it, because uh, these things can be on fairly tight. Yeah. So you want to get your uh, whatever contraption you're going to catch your oil in underneath it, because it will start leaking as soon as you loosen it. And you can always use a universal oil wrench if necessary. 
です couple minutes and let all the main oil drain out a little cleaner on your hands this is where i fucked up my mind last time <laughs> just dropped it yep now it is going to be full of oil so it will be heavy it's like a chocolate fountain at a wedding yeah hot fudge Ooh, there she goes and give that a couple minutes to drain too all right the drain seal for that uh, filter was still stuck up there, so make sure you check and pull that down if it's still up there. So definitely been a while since the oil has been changed in this one, it seems like. All right, here is the Genuine Motorcraft filter that we are gonna go with and our Motorcraft diesel oil. So for the filter, you wanna fill it up all the way up to the threads uh, with oil before you install it. And then you also wanna take just a little bit of oil and get the lip of this ring wet so it doesn't bind and you get a nice tight seal when you screw it on. And that oil color looks much better. All right, that is a big ass oil filter. Yeah, I think it takes about a quart. <laughs> It'll keep soaking in too. Yeah, you have to keep topping it off a couple times as it soaks into the uh, fibers in there. That'll just help it when you start it for the first time so it doesn't uh, have no oil down in there and get starved. <laughs> yeah, she's full. We're gonna call that good enough. Carefully transfer it and screw it back in. So if you don't have the tool, just go as hard as you can with two hands. Ugh, I just want to double check. Oh yeah, she's tight. All right, oh. so Eric is about to show us a uh, procedure that you want to do every time you change the oil. Is that every 5,000 miles you want to do this? Yeah, so there's actually a message that'll pop up on your dash if it is too full of water. But, uh, but yeah. This is your uh, lower uh, fuel filter, and there's a water and fuel separator in here. So generally, this is your, it's like a pet cock basically. You just unscrew it, and then uh, fuel will drip out of here. And you do it for about 10 seconds. Um, you should be able to see if there's any water in your fuel at that point. So we first. Yeah, so go about uh, 10 seconds or so, but this pretty much looks like all diesel, so. Yeah, that stuff's expensive. Yeah, so I'm gonna go <laughs> ahead and close the pet cock at this point and uh, give her a wipe. That's it. You can see it's pretty much all diesel yeah, fuel. Gatorade. Yeah. Yeah, don't leave that laying around. All right, cool. So yeah, so there'll be a message that uh, if it detects that there's too much, but uh, I guess it's a good idea to just uh, stay on top of it and do it before you get warned with the dummy lights. Yeah, the fuel systems on these things are not cheap. All right, cool. All right, we're gonna lower the truck now and we're going to add some oil. If you added one of these at the back to brace it, make sure you take that off before you lower this thing. All right, next step is we're going to put in 13 quarts. It comes in these five jugs so we're gonna do most of three of them and I got a big funnel to make it easier so that's where our funnel goes and now we're just gonna put it in and right, just start pouring in 13 quarts five down so with diesel stuff is it uh, not as much reason to go synthetic yeah, I don't know. Some people swear by it, but 5,000 miles, yeah. no one really seems to really have any issues with the motorcraft yeah. oil in those ranges. So 
if I was gonna like try and stretch out all intervals or changes, like if I was doing like a, actually using it to haul stuff on a highway or whatever, yeah. you're gonna actually wait 10,000 miles, maybe I'd put synthetic, but. Yeah. Dinosaur oil it is. All right, we got 13 in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap back on, fire it up, let the oil run through the engine for a minute before we check it with the dip stick. Dip stick. What tick? There's a, with these engines, a lot of people will hear a tick huh. after an, an oil change for the first like 500,000 miles or so. Huh. Um, they call it the typewriter tick. And apparently it's normal, but some trucks do it, some don't huh. after an oil change. All right, so here's your dipstick. Mine is uh, right up there at the top line. You don't want it to be over full, but you definitely want to make sure you have enough in there. So that looks good. We can close it up. All right, I'm gonna turn the ignition on. That little Ford splash screen. And yes, my door is ajar. All right, so if you just start pressing here, it will activate this menu. I'm gonna go down to settings. Vehicle. Ah, oil life reset. Hold OK. So, holding OK here. All right. We have new life in our oil. All right, that's it. It was really simple as you can see. I hope that was helpful, and I will see you guys on the next video. Ciao!